Oh, I heard somewhere a Mew is supposedly under this trunk. Well, might as well give it a shot. But champ, use strength. Oh my god, that's a Pokeball. This is a dream come true. Fucking legend. What is going on guys, this is Dobbs here, bringing you another Pokemon video. And in this video, I'm going to go over 10 things that probably didn't happen to you in Pokemon. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and without further ado, let's get started. Starting off this list, we have Shiny Pokemon and Pokemon Stadium and Coliseum. Now if you ever played Pokemon Stadium 2, you'd know that Challenge Cup gives you and the opponent random Pokemon to battle with. But something that you probably didn't know was that these Pokemon have a chance of being a shiny. Possible? Yes. Improbable? Also yes. Because the chances of coming across a shiny Pokemon in Challenge Cup has a 1 in 500,000 chance of happening. But guess what? It happened. Crazy enough, Pokemon Speedrunner Worcester encountered an unexpected shiny Pokemon while speedrunning the game. Here, check it out. This guy has a shiny. That was a legit shiny. Pretty cool I know, but I got some bad news. This doesn't even remotely compare to coming across a shiny shadow Pokemon in Coliseum and XD. The reason why this is, is because after catching a shiny shadow Pokemon, the Pokemon's data goes through another roll to see if it will be a shiny. So basically shiny inception. So after using my awesome math skills, the odds of catching a shiny shadow Pokemon that retains its shininess has a whopping 1 in 67 million chance of happening. Which is something that probably didn't happen to you in Pokemon. Flying in at number 9, we have the Trainer Fly Glitch. Now whoever discovered this glitch back in the Pokemon Red and Blue days must have been related to Albert Einstein because how do you even find this stuff out? As complex and confusing this glitch is, I will try my best to explain it to you guys. So basically in order for the Trainer Fly Glitch to activate, you gotta encounter a wild Pokemon on the same tile that a trainer will challenge you on, which in itself is a very rare occurrence. So after you encounter this troublemaker of a Pokemon, it'll then have to defeat you in a Pokemon battle, activating the Trainer Fly glitch. Get it? Cause you fly into the Pokemon's- okay. With the game's data now set to some intricate value that I don't understand, you can then manipulate the next wild Pokemon to be any Pokemon you'd like, including the infamous Mew. But let's be real, the chances of one of us coming across this glitch by mistake was very unlikely. So unlikely, in fact, that I'm shocked that even one person managed to do this glitch by mistake and then learn how to control it. Which is why I put it on this list. Cashing in at number 8, we have winning the Master Ball from the Pokemon Lottery. Now back in the day, winning the Master Ball was something we all wanted to do, but like most of us, we ended up with a lousy Ultra Ball. I mean, come on, the odds of finding a Pokemon with an ID that matched all the lottery numbers perfectly had a 1 in 65,000 chance of happening. Interestingly enough though, the current old record for beating Pokemon Crystal for the fastest time was only set a few months ago, and guess what? It uses the lottery to win a Master Ball in order to catch Entei early in the game. Now I know what you're thinking, the odds of a speedrunner that's on world record pace winning the lottery is absolutely improbable. And well, you're right, unless he manipulated the game. You see, every time you start Pokemon Crystal, a new trainer ID is generated, and if you use a particular set of commands before starting a new game, you can manipulate your trainer ID to 27623 without hacking. With this unique trainer ID, the gifted Fearow received on Route 31 will have a matching ID that will win you that precious Master Ball from the lottery. Crazy I know, but the Pokemon speedrunning community has come a long way. Splashing in at number 7, we have encountering level 100 wild Pokemon. Now throughout our Pokemon careers, we usually come across some of the highest level Pokemon after becoming elite champion. But something that probably didn't happen to you was coming across level 100 wild Pokemon. Yeah, a Pokemon that's a higher level than any legendary that has appeared in any game. Can you guess which one it is? A Dragonite? A Garchomp? Or even a Metagross? Well, believe it or not, Magikarp and Gyarados are actually the only two wild Pokemon that can appear as level 100 without hacks. In Pokemon Platinum and Black and White 2, there are two different locations that offer a chance to encounter a Magikarp or Gyarados that range from level 1 to level 100. I find it pretty funny how Magikarp has built a reputation for being the weakest Pokemon of all time, but here he is today, as the highest level Pokemon to ever be encountered in any of the games. Pretty ironic. 
coming in at number 6, we have Encountering a Shiny Pokemon. Now ever since Shiny Pokemon was introduced back in Generation 2, many Pokemon players have gone through great lengths to find these rare Pokemon. Unfortunately though, most of us haven't experienced an epic moment when coming across that fabled Pokemon with a different color. But not to worry, because there's something that probably hasn't happened to even the hardcore shiny hunters out there, which is coming across two shiny Pokemon back to back. Meet content creator MI678TV, a long lived shiny hunter who has a very impressive portfolio of shiny Pokemon. After coming across and catching a shiny Regice, MI678TV hops into the wild to test out his new shiny Pokemon, but something else happens. Another shiny Regice, yes! Oh my god! Oh my god, yes! There's my fourth shiny Regice. I got, like I've been saying, I got one a while ago. Uh, so there's no cheating device, you can see right there. Right. Oh my god! Oh my god, Shiny Machop! What the f? What the f? No fucking way! No way! No way! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's right, he came across another Shiny Pokemon, making this an almost back to back Shiny encounter. Pretty crazy, I know, but this next person has experienced the impossible. Twist streamer Rosakin was on the hunt for a shiny Rattata. After finally encountering this precious Mon, he mistakenly KOs it with Flame Charge. But the shiny gods have something else in store for this epic fail. It's all coconut gun. Oh, there's a shiny right there! What? Oh my gosh. Ah! No! Right, insane. Transforming in at number 5, we have the Friend Safari Ditto. Now back in Pokemon X and Y, the Friend Safari was introduced as a place where trainers can go to catch Pokemon that was normally not obtainable anywhere else. What made these Safari Pokemon so special was that each of them had two perfect IDs along with a higher chance of being a shiny. With this in mind, people found out if someone had a ditto in their friend's safari, egg breeding would be an easier task for building the perfect competitive Pokemon. But, the likeliness of having the sought after ditto was very low because, firstly, you would need a normal type friend's safari, which had a 1 in 18 chance. After that, you would then need to defeat the Pokemon League and then land that 25% chance of grabbing that ditto as your third safari slot, which in total had a 0.013% chance of happening. It's no wonder people went crazy for this ditto during the time of Pokemon X and Y. Only 0.01% of the community had one. Coming in at number 4, we have Generation 1 Shiny Pokemon. Now something that probably didn't happen to you in Pokemon was obtaining a Shiny Pokemon from the Generation 1 games. Yeah, you heard that correctly. It is possible to transfer a Pokemon from a Generation 1 game that becomes a Shiny in a Generation 2 game. Now Shiny Pokemon in Generation 1 were completely different than Generation 2 and onwards. Instead of depending on a 1 out of 8,000 chance of encountering an ultra colored Pokemon, you rather have to rely on the stats that are shown after catching the Pokemon. You see, just like all mainstream Pokemon games, the Pokemon have individual values that determine certain stats like HP or attack power. And if you use an online calculator that determines a specific set of values, you can check to see if a Pokemon's stats will allow it to become a Shiny in Generation 2. Here, you'll see what I mean with Mons the same Shiny Zapdos encounter after a whopping 40,000 soft resets. Oh no! Oh my god! Shiny Zapdos! Shiny Zapdos! Oh! Yeah, <laughs> if the stats correspond, it's definitely a Shiny Zapdos. It's better be Shiny. And it is- Oh! Oh my god, it looks so sick! And a freaking Shiny Zapdos in Gen 1 slash Gen 2. Pretty awesome, right? It would be crazy to think that someone out there actually transferred a Pokemon that became a Shiny without even trying. Something that I think that probably hasn't happened to you. Infecting at number 3, we have Pokerus. Now strangely enough, Pokerus is something that all Pokemon trainers want to catch. But unfortunately, not many of us have experienced coming across this rare species. Even though it's a microscopic life form that attaches to your Pokemon as a parasite, it gives a mutual benefit to its host. These benefits include doubling the EV values gained from a Pokemon battle, spreading to your other Pokemon to help them level up faster, and also helps your Pokemon become stronger in terms of their stats. Sounds like a legal cheat code, but it only comes around once in a lifetime. 
Roughly three times rarer than a shiny Pokemon, Pokeress only appears once every 22,000 Pokemon that are generated through the wild or that are bred. A pretty rare life form to say the least, but what if it's an actual Pokemon itself? That would make it one of the rarest Pokemon to unofficially catch. Who knows, maybe we'll see it become an actual Pokemon in a future game. Floating in at number 2, we have Mirage Island. Now if you thought Pokerus was rare, just wait to hear about Mirage Island. Introduced in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, Mirage Island quickly became one of the most sought after places to visit. With only a 1 in 65,000 chance of appearing in the Hoenn region, Mirage Island roughly equates to coming across 4 Pokerusses or encountering a shiny Pokemon 12 times. However, you can increase your odds to see this rare island by having a full party of Pokemon, making it a mere 1 in 11,000 chance. But you have to think about this. If it roughly takes 11,000 Pokemon with different personality values to see Mirage Island, that would mean you would have to fill up your PC 26 times and make almost 2,000 trips carrying 6 Pokemon every day until you land that shot at seeing Mirage Island, which is highly improbable and something that probably hasn't happened to you in Pokemon. Dancing in at number 1, we have Spinda. Now I thought it would be fun to include the most unlikely event to ever happen in Pokemon, something that I can guarantee that hasn't happened to any of you. Thanks to Reddit user Ancient Chaos for coming up with the idea, he concluded that this would be the most unlikely occurrence to ever happen in Pokemon X and Y. Starting with the Horde of Spindas, Ancient Chaos claims that the odds of all of them being shiny with identical spot patterns, having perfect IVs, beneficial natures, Pokerus, and hidden abilities has a breathtaking 127 chance out of… that… number. Yeah, something that definitely hasn't happened to any of us in Pokemon. So now you know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like if you did, I appreciate it a ton, and also if you're enjoying the channel be sure to subscribe. And if you want to follow me on Twitter for fan interactions, video updates, and other cool stuff, follow me Ethan Dobbs. And for the question of the day, has any of these happened to you? Be sure to let me know down below in the comments, I can't wait to see what you guys have in mind, and I'll see you all next time. See ya.